Hi, this is Lars, and uh, I've had a number of friends uh, ask me if I would do a demonstration showing a fast illustration using Photoshop and Painter, and so um, I'm finally getting around to it, and I'll put this up on uh, the web and have a link on Facebook. Um, I thought rather than just do a portrait like I did recently of a friend up in Quatsino, I would go ahead and maybe use one of our references um, that we often use at Justine and Creative Group at Good Salt. And so here you see um, some pictures we did of a model of Moses. And uh, if I blow this up, uh, when we shoot a model, we often do a lot of different poses and so there's many that we don't actually end up using for an illustration so there's leftover pictures and so I'm gonna grab one of those today and uh, I have chosen uh, one here that I think we ended up using in the original photo shoot, shoot something like this one but I think here's one where he's throwing the Ten Commandments. And if we dress someone up, we like to get some usage out of all the work we do to dress them up. So I think there was one here. I don't know if I can find it now, but there was one that I grabbed this one here. So let's look at the clock. It's now... 3.13.41 and I will do a demo on how to do a fast uh, portrait in Painter and Photoshop and when I'm done I will put up the high resolution for you to view and I will also probably put this on Good Salt as a licensable image uh, for publishers and others to use. So first of all the uh, Let's get started by looking at the size of the file. It's right now 300 dpi by 9 and 13 inches high. That's about the size I want, but I think I want more area around, so I'm going to go ahead and enlarge the area, and I'll use a shortcut to increase the canvas size, and for the width, I'll increase this maybe to 13 inches. And for the height, I think I'll increase that maybe to, I think there's plenty down below. I think I'll increase the height to maybe something like 16. So something like that. And then I think in the background here, I'm going to want uh, some uh, something that says Mount Sinai. And I've grabbed before I started some pictures of Mount Sinai I got off the web. So I'm going to go ahead and take out some of the background here. And I'm just going to create a mask quickly and increase the opacity here. I'm just cutting out a quick mask. And remember, the thing that keeps this fresh and spontaneous is the speed. One of the mistakes that uh, we make as artists sometimes is slowing up and losing that fresh look. So that's going to be the challenge for me. I want to keep this just a quick little study of Moses. And uh, so now I've taken out the background here. So I'm going to grab a picture off the side here I had and select this and drop this in to the picture. Put this behind him. So we'll move this around until we think we've found something with Mount Sinai that is interesting compositionally. So this is where you make a kind of decision of what, what looks good. It's where you make a judgment call. And so let's see, I want it to be noticeably I want it to be characteristic of Mount Sinai, so it kind of has those three little peaks, so I might have to make this smaller, and let's 
a kind of a trick to get him in. Let's put him a little bit off center here. Like here. I have to shrink this down a lot more. Maybe. Boy, it's struggle here. It takes some artistic license and squeeze it in a little bit. You know what? I think I'm just going to stop right about there. I need some more sky in here, so I'm going to duplicate, duplicate this image. And I'll move some of the sky over in here. And let's go ahead and just brush out this area here. And oops, took too much out. Brush out a little. And then we'll move this down here. And I'll stretch some of this up here. And all right. Don't want to spend too much time. We're gonna. It's so easy to just get tied up in too much detail here, and um, I'm already kind of spending too much time on on this. And I think we'll go ahead and just make this a dark, shadowy area down in here, and uh, increase the size of the. So it's like a dark shadow comes across here. And maybe a little bit of this pink color coming in through here. And so there, we're done with that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flatten the two together, merge them. And now I like to run a filter just to simplify the whole thing. There's lots of different filters really built into Photoshop. I think I'm going to use one called uh, Simplify from Topaz. And... What it does is, um, and by the way, this was just styrofoam that he's using. I've got a lot of pictures of Ten Commandments. I think I'm just going to drop in something I already have here in a moment. So we'll get to that. But uh, let's see here. Uh, so Topaz is opened up here. And I like using something that called... Buzz Sims, I have absolutely no idea what that stands for, but it just kind of simplifies some of this. And we'll run that. I'll, I'll blow this up for you and show the before and after. And take a few seconds to run. There it is, it ran. So now I'm going to enlarge this so you can kind of see. It's taken out a lot of information. I'm going to select all of it and copy it. And then I'm going to undo it. There's what we had before. I'm going to increase the saturation to kind of match the saturation that we had before. And then I'm going to <coughs> copy this over the top. And then I'm going to create a mask. And I'm going to go in and remove a little bit of this layer. So I put a little bit of that detail back in that we lost on critical areas, just like the nose and eyes, where we want some of that detail back in here, not much of it. The rest of it. Um, we want simplified. So there it is. Um, the rest, because I don't need all the tiny little details of the brain of the, of the photography, because we're trying to move away from photography and make this an illustration. So there we are. So now this is all simplified. We're now ready to save this. So we're going to call this file Moses Demo. And I'll, I'll decide what to call it later when I save it for, uh, for permanent uh, use. And so I'm going to close this. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm going to still have to put the real Ten Commandments in here. Can't have Moses and his famous blue foam. So I'm going to go in here and let's... Let's... Uh, Let's first select an area here. And like I said, I've got some, I've got lots of pictures of, a lot of illustrations of Ten Commandments. So I'm going to go ahead and take one that I already have from another source, select all this. And 
I'm going to go in here and paste that in. Oops, wrong shortcut. I'll paste this into here and rotate that around. And when we go into the painting program, we can just smooth that into place. So that's that's close enough to get us what we what we need. So flatten that. And then this other one here, we'll just paint that when we get into painter. All right, so now we'll save this, close this. <coughs> uh oh, 2.23, so we got to get going here. So now we open up Painter. This is the program, my favorite program of every year. So I'm going to open up Moses Demo. And here it is. So let's start by, I'm going to open up a pellet knife and... You know, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw a wash of watercolor over this just because I want to, it, it's, you, I don't know if you can see it, but I want a little bit of texture, a little bit of color, just because this is so digital feeling right now. And I'm going to zoom way in. I don't know, can you see that watercolor texture going on? Uh... I'll take some clear water and take that off and kind of see what I'm putting on here. And it's just going to give it a little a little kind of warm brown. I'll put some darker color down in here. A little Then I'm going to go and dry it. Um, my, my, uh, I've narrowed, I have a 27 inch screen, so I've, my, um, uh, my painter area is off to the left where you can't see, but I'm going and scrolling down and drying it. You can't quite see that, but, um, now I'm going to go back in once I dry that, and I'm going to go back in here and the program I'm using here is, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit, I mean the brush I'm using here is called uh, Pellet Knife, you can see Lars New Pellet Knife, I kind of a brush I I made, oh did that dry or not, no, not that dry, now. otherwise it won't get integrated. So we go in here and kind of rough this sky up. And a little bit of, I just want to create the impressionistic illusion of Mount Sinai here as if it was Uh, and so you laid the paint on with some big blobs of oil paint right, with a pellet knife. Kind of working from back to front like you would with a reel. And I find this is kind of distracting the pink around his forehead. So I'm taking this off. And this color's kind of stark and a little too saturated so I'm going to go in and put up choosing a sergeant brush I'm going to make it a little bit lighter here a little bit darker but not so um, and then I have another brush you can see the brush is changing up here this one is called um, chisel sable chisel tip and it, it just smooths out some of these values that 
better here. And again, I've got this color here for a, a second tablet that he's holding. And this is too defined here for an impressionistic style. So I'm going to go in here to and just soften this up a little bit and eventually we'll be going in and just kind of mushing up these letters so they look like they're more painted on rather than digitally dropped in. You don't want things too defined or you know it just looks like it was photographically digitally put on and so it's just kind of a bit of a process here. So now we go, let's zoom in on Moses' face here. And if this was just a portrait, I'd probably be done if I was just doing a face. But I'm really doing a lot more here. And so we have this sort of thing going around his head. I think I'm going to paint in, even though it's not here, create a bit of illusion that there's a top of a hat or top of his head here so that it reads more as a as a, a band of material. Like that, like so. And so let's really zoom. I'll go back to my palette knife where we're going to, uh, and this was, this was, uh, this model put on a Santa Claus beard. And uh, so I've got to, we know it's not quite right. It's pretty over the top. So I'm going to, form this more in the shape of a real how a real beard would be and it would kind of grow out of there. Out of the nostril area like this. It'd come down over the mouth. It wouldn't quite have this big handlebar thing that they've got going here. But this model did have nice uh, facial structure, so we'll keep that. Got a little highlight here going on with the. Go ahead and put a little highlight in here where the nose is, and we'll emphasize this nostril right here. And uh, play up the crow's feet here a little, and maybe make his eyebrow, maybe make his eyelids a little bigger and stronger. Give him the look of wisdom. You can see that. A little highlight here in the eye, maybe a little color in that in the eye here, a little brown color. Can't make him a Jewish and have a uh, blue eye, so a little highlight in the eye. And even though there's not a highlight here in the reference, we'll we'll go ahead and just create a little bit of a highlight over here. Just a hint of one. And, and then I like to put a little bit of, introduce a, a cool and a warm color. So over here, it's you've got the warm color of uh, the sun coming this way. But let's, a lot of the classic illustrators did this. They would uh, introduce a, a cool,
cool blue or purple or green over to the side here. And so we'll go ahead and, and do that. I want to put a little bit of a little bit of blue over on this side. This is an old illustrator's trick. And we'll see how it works here. Now I went a little too heavy here. Let me cut back here. That's one thing I'm nice about the digital. You can go back and undo here. So I'm going to go put a little bit of and then once I do that I will blend this in a little bit and work it into the into the illustration, into the color like that. If you can see that on your monitor, kind of a subtle effect, but it really makes a difference. It helps to create a little more of the 3D quality. And then just need to emphasize a little bit this line right in here where his nose is. And I'm using a little watercolor brush with what I just now did. So now, uh, again, I'm very easy to get too much, uh, get going into too much detail. So you, one way you avoid that is by pulling back and not working too close. So now I'm going to pull back and Let's put a little highlight on Moses' uh, lip here, like a little wet spot, a little saliva. And blend that in just a little bit like that. And now, now we'll get really rough with this. Get a Pull back with the uh, with the pellet knife and get the sergeant brush here and get this highlight. Put this some highlights here to really make his his uh, scarf show up here especially put a slightly different color on it so it breaks out from his that's the You notice I'm not looking at the reference, my original photo. I probably should. If I took the time, wasn't in a hurry here, I would probably have the original photo reference off to the side here to look at. But I'm kind of, what am I up to here? 336. And I started, what, 3, what, 313 something? Anyway, I'm definitely running out of time here. So let's... Uh, Let's keep going here. We got the it's taking on the painterly look that we're after. He's got a long, long beard. on here but we don't want to read that pattern too clearly. I want to look photographic so we make it impressionistic and again that writing on here is going to be 
actually we've got this cut out around the hands here. We've got to make hands are kind of dark here. I need to fix that. And Hands are important. It's easy to kind of skimp on them, but I remember Norman Rockwell, one of his books, he said that the hands are, are something he thought was often overlooked by artists and illustrators. And uh, they can be very expressive and very important. And I always try to remember that. So here he's, Moses is grasping the now this particular model came in and I was surprised he had a big bandage over one of his hands and so we had to kind of work to hide that particular hand and not make it important. It was so here we'll Here's this big sleeve and then we'll pull back here and make the brush big here to hopefully cover a lot of area. Sometimes it's good to work from way back because you see the overall effect and you don't get too lost in the, the details. So here's our Moses and we need to put more, more detail into this other shadow in here. With some watercolor. up in here. Although this needs to be kind of broken out from here. Let me dry this and see if we can put some uh, highlights that kind of break this clothing away. Seems like there should be a little bit of light right up along the top, a little rim lighting there. And we can. All right, so what time is it? 3.42, so we're almost up to about, I think, half an hour, which, again, I think if I was just doing a portrait of a head. I've done now, but I've tried to do all this 
other stuff. Now, we're going to take it back into Photoshop and And we're going to um, do a few little things in Photoshop, like add a little bit of texture to the painting that will help a little bit of um, A little bit of canvas texture, and I'll show you how that works in a second. Just about done here. Right. Hold that. I don't see anything jumping out at me? It's really bad. Right now, these are just last minute kind of compositional things. So. Okay, so now we'll save this in out of Painter and we will open it up in Photoshop. And I'm going to copy a bit of canvas texture that I've got that I sometimes use on these and I'm going to enlarge it here put it over the top here and I'm going to go to multiply and cut back the opacity a little bit and this will give it a little bit of texture if you pull in here. It's a little trick I use. And I can take it back into Painter and I can rework it a little bit and do a few other little things. But um, oh, and then I take it back to Painter and sign it too. I'll sign it. So, but this is uh, kind of, um, I'll do a little, little bit of, little bit of touching up, but that's pretty close to where I wanted to go. I'll pull in here really close. See if you can see that on your monitor. But this is a portrait of Moses. And it's 345. I think I started at around 213 or something. So we're over 30 minutes, but um, shouldn't have added I should have just had I shouldn't have had the Ten Commandments in Mount Sinai. I'd be done by now, but Anyway, this gives you a little idea of working in uh, Painter and Photoshop. So, hope you enjoyed the demo, and I'll have a link for a, a close-up of this file that you can go and take a look at. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.